what do you do can you do with vegetables you can make a vegetable curry a vegetable casserole vegetable pancakes bubble and squeak have vegetable pecoras make um, potato cakes make a vegetarian pizza here's my offside oh, make me hungry barry that all sounds delicious i'd love to make some of those things that you've just mentioned and what about if you're feeling thirsty how about a vegetable juice consisting of carrots tomatoes and beetroot here's my offside really yeah, a good suggestion actually um you know veggie juice is really good if you want to get your veggies into the day and what about a cabbage juice mm. add some cabbage as well so to make a cabbage juice okay shred a small cabbage right place it in the in the blender okay and blend until some until until you've got a fresh cabbage juice and this helps relieve an upset stomach if you've got that so drink this at least a couple of times a day until you feel better and cabbage is good and how do you make a fruit and vegetable juice? Well, you've seen the staff at a, at a shop making fruit and vegetable juice. Well, I'm about to tell you how to make it at home. Simply chop up your vegetables and some fruit, place in your blender with, with some uh, Placing your juicer, okay, and then and then turn on your juicer, and then five minutes later you've got yourself a nice fruit and vegetable juice, and even you can add some watermelon to this as well. Here's my offsider. Yeah, great suggestion, Barry. Um, watermelons, yeah, really tasty. Um, yeah, good. So after lunch, we're going to be talking about how to make homemade pies and sausage rolls and, and, and what they're good for. And what about some berry bread later? So, mm. so those of you that are food holics, don't go don't go away because we've got plenty more coming up on the show now it's time for a commercial break are you going away over the long weekend then then make sure that you have everything prepared for your trip such as a first aid kit and everything like that make sure that you are well rested because if you drink and drive and drive while tired that is not a good look and that this is a message from Baron Fear It's coming up to coming up to midday now. Well, it will soon be midday, and to take us out, we're going to recap on the milkshakes again. Now, Alana, what do you think about the milkshakes? They sound delicious. I um, I really like all your suggestions you've made. Actually, um, I have a Nutri Ninja at home. And I'm very keen to try out some of the ideas you've uh, mentioned there. And, and you can also take what you prepared in a travel mug. Mm. 
but make sure it is cold. Here's my offsider. Yeah, it's exactly right. You want to make sure that it stays cold. Uh, wouldn't be the same if it's hot. Wouldn't taste as good. So, so, just going over some of the rest of other recipes you can do with vegetables. You can make a vegetable lasagna. You can make a vegetable pie. You can make a vegetable quiche. Anything like that, or a vegetable slice, anything like that. Mm. If you're looking for somewhere to go uh, during the weekend, on the weekend, check out the Great Northern Hotel in Chatswood on the corner of Mulberry Road and the Pacific Highway at Chatswood. I'm telling you, you will love it. So pop on into the Great Northern Hotel, guys, you will love it. Located on the corner of the Pacific Highway and Mulberry Road at Chatswood. Here's my offsider. That actually sounds good, Barry. We'll have to go there someday, yeah? Or get out my taxi driver to take her. This is Barry Fair with you here. Now I'd like to talk about the importance of staying safe on the road. And this is a, an appropriate time to be talking about staying safe because. It is a long weekend, and, and please have patience on the road. Here's my offsider. Exactly right. Um, long weekend, the roads are a lot busier, so you've got to ensure that you stay safe on the road. Otherwise, if you do something stupid on the road, like you go bang or flip over, Here's my offsider. Yeah, that's exactly right, Barry. Um, it can end up being very dangerous, uh, especially if the weather is uh, raining. So you got to be very careful. And don't speed to get to your destination either because I did mention this on a Take Care on Those Roads mm. video earlier on. So... Please do look out for that one. And whilst I've got you viewers here, um, daylight saving kicks in this uh, Sunday morning. So instead of it being 20 to 12 like it is at this moment, it will be 20 to 1. Here's my offsider. Yeah, thanks, Barry, for the reminder. Um, I really appreciate that. Um, yeah, it's going to be it's going to be a lot lighter now in the evenings. I'm looking forward to it. So, so coming up after lunch, like I've like I promised, it's the meat pie and pasties and sausage rolls. In my offsider. Mm. Sounds delicious, Barry. Very keen to hear that. So, 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 don't you go away, guys, because this show is far from over. And we've got a lot of ground to cover today, and we look forward to your company. So, grab yourself a nice, healthy lunch, guys, and, 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 what, and, Share your lunchtime with us, because the show is far from over. And we'll, so stick around, don't touch that dial, we'll have more after the lunch break. Proudly presented by Barry Fair, that's me, and we've got plenty more to cover, so... So stay right where you are 
We'll be back with you shortly.